Yes, how are you? Hi, we're good. Ah, great to see you. Is, um, is um, the rain stopped? Okay, take your finger out your mouth and say it and ask again. Is um, the rain stopped? Yes, the rain has stopped, uh, Naomi. How are you doing? Praise God! Amen. <laughs> She um she wanted to pray pray for you and everyone there. Um, yeah. So sure. So after after we hung up, she said a prayer for you guys. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So. God. No amen. No more rain. Yes. So there we have. Uh, on our English direct translation, which uh, you provided, there we have the first word, God, which uh, in uh, Swahili is uh, Mungu. 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 Okay. Mungu. Can you be able to pronounce that? Mungu. That is it. And then the second word is said, Akasema. Aka sema. Akasema. That is it. Mungu akasema. Can you repeat that? Mungu akasema. Akas Mungu. Mungu akasema. Yes, Mungu akasema. Then the word let is wacha. So the easiest way to read it ni uh, it is wacha. So wacha. Watcha. Yes. And then we have us. Us is a plural word in English and in Swahili, the plurality goes C C. C C. That should, yeah, that should be easy. <laughs> the letter C, but it is now uh, translated into S I S I C C. Then make is um tumfanye. Uh, the other word is um a little bit difficult in Swahili, to mumbe, and so I'll just use uh, an equivalent to it, which is tumfanye. So you can read, uh, as I have separated them, to mfanye, tumfanye. Mm. Say it one more time. To mfanye, tumfanye. Mm. That is it, tumfanye. And then man is mutu, mutu. So, mutu. It's like you are you are you are reading letter M uh, alone and then two, mutu. Okay. Kwa. Kwa. Uh, mm, uh, and, and because this was a trans, uh, direct translation, I'll just read the way it is. Our is ye tu. Ye tu. Ye tu. Okay. Uh, image, image is what we call sura. Image, sura. Your, your face, something like your face. Image. Uh, like uh, I'll say, my face, I'll say uso. Like, but uh, the whole image now, the whole human image is sura. So uh, uh, I'll read it. Image is sura. 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 Yes. After niji n si. Ji n si. Jin si. Can you try it? Jin ni si. So now don't separate n and s. Now uh, majit jin si. Can you try that? Uh, say it one, one, one more time. One more time. After is G N C. That you did that G N C. C. And now that put the word together, it is G N C. G N C. That is it. Our we repeat our. It is year two. Year two. 
and likeness in our likeness in our likeness it is mfano 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 yes that is it mfano so can we now read the whole thing without um uh, reading the english and uh, the swahili now when you go you come to the column of swahili constructive this is how it will read mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu kwa sura yetu mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu kwa sura yetu can you try it uh, <laughs> first of all <laughs> Okay. Just go to Swahili constructive column. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Okay. Mungu akasema ne na na to tumfanye fanye mtu kwa mfano we too? No, don't take E as an English uh, letter, take it as another letter. So instead of pronouncing it as E, just use the way it is A. Where to? Yes. Where to kwa Sahara? Kwa Sura. Kwa Sura. Kwa Sura. That is it. Can you try it once again? That is perfect. 80%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I need to perfect the top part before we continue. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that is it. That is it. Yeah, well, well and I, I know you will be a perfect Swahili teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and this and this is how I usually when I get a third party to help to teach something to my children. Yes. Uh, I I video record for mm -hmm. them yes. when they may, may not be able to um, to engage in the first glance. There's no problem um, mm. because because when I was trying to get someone to help my mm. son um, uh, teach him be uh, piano, I yes. had to learn first. Yes, I had to learn first so that I would be able to teach him. It's okay. So um, this is a, when, when I do third, third party teaching, I have to learn it first so that I can be able to teach. Yeah, teach it's, well. it's understandable. Yeah. They are small kids and uh, we have to understand that uh, they can have some moods and all that things. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we can deal with the first, first part. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. When you go to Swahili constructive, Mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu kwa sura yetu. Can we try that? Okay. And I'm glad you're recording because this way you can uh, send, send the recording to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, mungu akasema ne Na, 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 to, to, funny, yes, to, kwa, funu, one, two, mungu, akasema, na, to, funny, mtu, kwa, Mfano wetu kwa sura yetu. Can you say it? And then we end? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. Mungu akasema ne, 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 na, na, sorry, na, to 
Sarah, you too? Amen. That is a hundred percent. It's only the um say nay. I know. I, 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 <laughs> I so much want to say ne instead of the 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 correct way. <laughs> I know what is uh, I know what is actually the problem because you are used to the alphabet order that is A to Z, but yeah. uh, we we have what we call the vowel letters A A E O U. So A it's A A it's A E O that something of that kind. So you have to learn uh, between vowels and then the alphabet order. So yeah, me. in Swahili, na, it's na. 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 Yeah, na. yeah, because in vowels it is a. This the letter a in alphabet in 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 vowel when you are pronouncing it is in, in Swahili it is a. Yes. I, I know we will continue in the second part um, and uh, tomorrow we can be there for the second part. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless and uh, God bless your family. God bless you too.